Hello and welcome back everyone. To all the new viewers who have come on the channel for the first time, let me tell you that uh, what we basically do here is we try to analyze the price patterns objectively uh, to understand the market structure without the help of any sort of indicators. The only indicator that we use on our charts are the moving averages. Uh, why do we use them? Uh, we'll share with you. Uh, probably you can go back, watch a couple of videos. Uh, you will understand that how do we use these moving averages. So uh, we understand the price patterns. We try to understand the price action. And we also try to analyze the, uh, the arrangement of the bar, bars, the candles, which I call as a candle language to understand where exactly is the support and the resistance, where exactly is the big money is moving. So uh, all those things we do and we try to analyze the markets on a daily basis, specifically the Nifty and Bank Nifty. Uh, sometimes we also analyze other sectors and markets too. So. Uh, if you watch the the you know the couple of old videos, you will understand that uh, how do we analyze it? How do we exactly try to find out the you know uh, key locations where you know a turn might come? Although we do not try to predict the market, what we do is we try to understand that you know where the market could take a turn objectively. And let's uh, start the analysis. So uh, as I have mentioned, if you have seen the yesterday's video, the title was Trap Ahead. And you know this is what we have seen today. Uh, from the buyer's point of view, you no, know, it was a trap because market gap down, it came back up and the, it spent the entire day in the same range. So a good market for the sellers, for, for the option sellers, However, uh, for the buyers, it was a complete trap. And if you remember, uh, you know, I have also mentioned that you know, after these two strong bars, uh, probably this week is going to remain you know, like this. Uh, you know, because usually after you know, the wide range bars, which you know, uh, initiated from the base, uh, you know, prices do tend to rest or consolidate. Uh, they might pull back a little bit, but they you know, try to remain at the upper one third of the wide range bar. Uh, this is what you know, has happened historically. Uh, historically, you know, these patterns, they always guide our thoughts. They always tell us that how do market react? Uh, you know, because you not know, all these patterns are basically based on the psychology of the, you know, the combined psychology of the traders. And which is why what has happened in the past usually guide our thoughts because most of the time they form the exact patterns in the future as well. So again, we have the same kind of scenario here. Uh, we are consolidating near the resistance area. Uh, I have you know, also mentioned, we anticipated we, we, that uh, you know, this week prices might settle you know, below the resistance, below this resistance here. And you know, as of now, this is what is looking the case. Uh, how, although, you know, this is not, uh, there is no shorty, it might get a breakout tomorrow. But let's see, tomorrow is a very decisive day because if prices break out from this resistance, that would mean that you know uh, next week we will have more bullish price action. Uh, so let's understand how can we play uh, you know, uh, tomorrow for intraday trade. So uh, this is the five minute chart, and let's uh, see if you know looking at uh, what the market structure is at the moment because we are below the 50 and 20 ma let's see if prices open gap down and if they clear you know this uh, support area here then we might see you know prices coming back back down to the support zone that could be an opportunity for the short trades for the scalp trades 
but on the other side if price is open somewhere in the range uh and retest you know this support area and starts to move back up then we will take the long trades only when the prices will you know clear this resistance because this is the immediate resistance at hand and we will wait for the prices to come and give you no know, at least one closing above the 20 ma and then we will try to play for this entire void that we have in this time frame so uh, in bank nifty we have you know a very nice gap down uh, you know session today and it is now near to the low of this bottoming tail bar uh, which means that all those buyers who stepped in at this uh, moving you know 20 period moving average with the expectation that prices might you know continue to move up probably they are you no know, losing the hope because you know why am i saying this is that we do not have any proper support uh, to the downside here and if prices starts to fall let's say if we again have a gap down day tomorrow as well then we might see that you no know, the you no know, the increased selling and you no know, this would be an area where prices might take a rest so let's just uh, see what you no know, what this level is so this is around 34100 right so this is the area where you know prices might take a rest however uh, you know it doesn't look like that you know we will see such a big fall tomorrow Uh, and if nifty in case gets positive then probably bank nifty also you know uh, either consolidate or try to remain in the range so uh, you no know, in the hourly time frame we can see that prices have given a closing below the support zone and we do not have any proper uh, any strong support up until here so you no know, there there is a void uh no avoid it means that there is no strong support to the left and if prices starts to fall you no know, we might see a bigger fall here so uh in bank nifty what we can do is let's say if prices you no know, give a gap down opening then probably you no know, we will take the uh short position you no know, after the first 5 minute candle uh, if it breaks this support area here and let's say if prices open give a gap up opening and then starts to turn then we will wait for the prices to you no know, settle down create a proper uh, resistance how it will create a resistance so let's say prices gave a uh, you no know, prices will give a gap up opening and if it will come near to this prior resistance area and then you know form a topping tail kind of a bar and then it starts to fall then we can go short below the uh, topping tail bar that would be a better place because up until here if it forms a topping tail at the resistance we do not have any support for prices to you know stop falling so uh you no know, bank nifty is looking uh, more bearish than uh, nifty as of now however we have india wix which is cooled off uh, it was around 26 27 level last we talked about it now it is you no know, close to 24 so which means that it has you no know, cooled off and uh, you no know, in the weekly time frame nif bank nifty is looking uh, bearish and if it you no know, give a closing to because tomorrow is the last day of the week and if it gives a closing more than 50% of this bar that would mean that in the coming week we might see more you know bearish price action in this market right 
So uh, that's about it in this analysis. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the session. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment box below. Uh, also, again, I'm you know uh, again and again trying to request everyone here that please try to watch the complete video. With that, you will only get the complete perspective of the analysis. So uh, till then, take care and catch you in the next session. Take care. Good night.